So here we are about five days after we opened the pool, a lot better than last year. Last year it took us a little bit of time to get everything balanced. Um, we do have a saltwater pool. We have a mesh cover, so everything drains down, so it was so dirty. We used um, three bags of shock to shock it uh, day one and two. On day three, we did the uh, clarifier. And then on day four, we did the perfect weekly um, two cap pulls right into the skimmer. And then the pool cleared up right away. And then how much salt do we need to add? I did three, three 40 pound bags. And then we put three 40 pound bags of salt. And that should be all the salt we need for the summer, right? Yep. And then we just did a little manual clean with the vacuum and that's it. Then we also swapped out our other deck. It was just a wooden deck and we put a Trex deck in just so we wouldn't have to keep changing out the wood. It's super durable and I think it looks really good and it matches the deck in the front. Our next project is going to be this patio table. We're going to buy some spray paint, probably like a tan or like a taupey beige color and we're gonna spray all the paint because this is probably 10 years old. It's super pitted and just getting gross. And we wanna try to salvage it because we do really like it. Um, it is a glass table, but it has the nice little Lazy Susan here. And then we're gonna get a new umbrella and we do have some newer cushions for the chairs. So I'll probably vlog that when we end up doing it, probably like next week or the week after. Good job, baby. What happened? You dropped your goggles? My goggles. Oh no, they're sinking. So it's been a minute since we cleaned down here. I need to vacuum the basement stairs and then vacuum down here, dust the baseboards and like dust off the ping pong table. And then I want to put some shelving in over here in this closet. So we just took some old um, shelving from the closet upstairs and I want to put these two racks in up there just so we have a little bit more storage in this closet. because we just got home and I have two packages that came in the mail. I have Bath and Body Works. I got the banana split milkshake candle. It smells so good. I can't wait to burn it. And then I got the summertime soda pop. This smells good. I think maybe once we burn it, it'll smell better. And then I just got one of the aromatherapy in the lavender vanilla. It smells a little bit soapy on a cold sniff, but maybe once I burn it, it'll smell a little bit better. It's definitely not the same scent as the original White Barn Lavender Vanilla. And then I got one more package in the mail from Bobble Bar. I've been waiting for this. Um, I didn't want to order this stuff until it went on sale. And a couple of the things that I really did want, um, they sold out. I got the Mini Gem Pinata Tassel Earrings, and these are just the mini version and they're so cute, I can't wait to wear them. And then I got the blush ones, but these ones are the regular length, and I just hope that they're not too heavy for my ear. I'm just gonna try them really quick. They definitely do feel like a little bit heavy on. I wanna see how heavy these ones are in comparison to the minis. Oh wow, okay, the minis feel much lighter. So this is how they look. This is the minis and then these are the regular. They're both really pretty. I just feel like I might have to return these ones if I can 
because they're like really tugging on my ear and I'm not a fan of that, but I definitely love the black ones. So this is a little bit better lighting. I decided to stand in front of a window. So these are the black ones on and I just really like them. They're not heavy and I just think they're really cool. And then the last thing I got is this Abby Y choker necklace and it just has like the little tassel there on the bottom. This is the choker necklace on. I didn't take off my little um, jade necklace but it's really cute and I just like it. I think it's gonna be really pretty. It's like kind of dressy. This is our old man, Brody. He's getting up there in age. Brody, can you say hi? Brody, wanna go out? Wanna go out? Wanna go out? So today I am going to try the um, Aztec Secret Healing Mask and um, I bought the Elmer's Glue for it probably like a couple weeks ago now and I've been meeting to try it. I just haven't gotten around to it. I'm gonna do a little DIY with the Aztec healing clay, mix in some apple cider vinegar and then the Elmer's clear school glue. And I'm just gonna mix everything together in this little paper cup. So I'm gonna put just a couple teaspoons of the clay powder in. And then I'm gonna put a couple teaspoons of the apple cider vinegar in. And just mix that up. It's like kind of smoking in here. And then lastly, I'm gonna mix in some of the Elmer's glue. Now, typically I make this mask and I just put it on my face and let it dry and then wash it off but I'm trying to do a peel off mask today. All right, so it's all mixed up. I put my gloves on and I'm just gonna apply it all over my face. Ooh, maybe too much glue. We'll see how it goes. If this does work, I'm gonna be so happy because I would much, much rather be um, peeling off a mask than washing it off, especially this one. So I am going to let this mask dry and then I will check back in with you guys. So quick check-in, um, the glue is definitely starting to tighten on the mask and I can feel it getting tight and it should be ready, I would say, in about another 10 minutes or so to peel off. Okay, so it is very, very tight and dry. And again, added the glue to make it a peel off mask because I feel like I love this mask, but there's just such a mess with um, washing it off and you can't just put it like down into your drain because of the clay. So I'm gonna try to find like a spot to kind of grab it and pull it off if I can. And I hope that this actually works and it isn't a bigger mess than the other way. Put some paper towels down in the sink so that if the pieces fall, at least that they fall on that. I'm just gonna try to, maybe I didn't add enough glue. If anyone's tried this, please leave it down below in the comment section how you made this work. Peeling apart in sections, but it's not like, I wanted it to all peel off, all like together. So it seems like it's peeling off a little bit better, like my forehead, but not really. It's like really stuck on there. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's stuck. Oh, it's like ripping the hair out. Ooh, you definitely wanna make sure you don't get this on your near your eyebrows. So I think it's that I either added way too much glue or not enough. Because it's just like kind of coming off in little chunks. Okay, so it's not peeling off and it's getting really uncomfortable. I need to get it off my face. So I'm just gonna use a towel to just kind of wipe it away. But definitely let me know down below in the comments if any of you guys have tried this and what you used to make this work because this just is not working the way I want it to. So I'm gonna end this now. Okay, so I finally got all the glue off my face and that was an epic fail, so. Um, unless we figure out exactly how this works, I would not recommend using the glue with the uh, Aztec Secret Healing Mask. It's not a good move. 